Good evening everyone, um, it's Louise from 280 Bakes, just checking in with you on your Monday evening. Um, I have just wanted to post a quick video to say, um, to tell you about uh, the vegan baking workshop we ran on Saturday. So it's been two days since we did our vegan baking workshop where 11 bakers joined us at Bakesmiths in Bristol to bake three recipes that were 100% vegan but really, really delicious and um, we got to take away the cakes with them. So um, I've just got some notes below me, so if I'm looking down, it's not because I'm shy. <laughs> um, I've just got some notes underneath, and um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the workshop, because we had a lot of fun. Harriet and I ran the workshop this week, and um, we showed the bakers how to make some really simple recipes that they can do at home with really easy ingredients. There was no crazy ingredients like aquafaba, there was no expensive coconut oil. It was all things that you probably have got in your cupboard anyway. Um, so that was really interesting to show them how to do that. And the feedback was that they were really interested to see what the alternatives you could use instead of eggs and butter. So I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, so what did they bake? Uh, the bakers were shown and obviously made their own um, coffee and walnut buns, we made banana and coconut cake, and also cherry and almond cake. Um, I talked through the alternatives, like I just mentioned, so we were using oil instead of butter. We used uh, banana in the banana and coconut cake, um, which held it together better with the absence of the, absence of the egg. Uh, what else did we use? Dairy-free milk. We used soya milk, but we could have exchanged it for almond or... Um, all sorts of different dairy-free milk and we also used a tiny bit of dairy-free butter as well because there was one recipe in particular that needed that. We also had uh, some discussion in the group about the pros and cons of being a vegan or having a plant-based diet um, and how we can overcome those cha uh, challenges. So some of the feedback that came from the discussion um, positives were really, really interesting. Um, the bakers were telling us about how they get the feel-good fee, um, feel factor when they eat vegan or they eat meat-free. Um, they like to be able to uh, think of their food as cruelty-free. There's environmental benefits, so there's um, less soil erosion, less water use, um, less deforestation with eating a plant-based diet. There's the health benefits we touched on. And also, somebody mentioned it's marginally cheaper as well, or maybe more than marginally cheaper not to eat meat. Um, then we came on to the challenges of uh, being a vegan. Um, first off was the social stigma. So when you say, when you think of a vegan, or maybe not yourself, but it, in general, there is a slight stigma to the word, but it's becoming more and more common to come across vegans. And there was a 7% rise in the last couple of years anyway across the nation um, of vegans. So it's becoming more and more normal to come across these people, which is wonderful. Um, we also mentioned that eating out can be difficult, and we talked about how we can get around that using things like the Happy Cow app or the veganbristol.com website, which can help you find great places to eat around here. Um, and also we talked about the, the flavour challenge. So often um, dishes can be quite a challenge to make full of flavour if you don't use the right ingredients um, or have the right attitude even. Um, so we were there to prove them wrong, basically, that vegan cake can still taste fantastic um, without the eggs and the butter and all the rest of all the animal products. So um, which cakes did we make? We made the banana coconut, the cherry almond and the coffee walnut. So that's three recipes and the bakers all went away with um, 18 buns. Um, we, while the cakes were baking, we had the discussions, we also played a team game as well, and I'll show you the photos of that, um, well, maybe I won't because it'll give away the game for next time, but, um, yeah, we had, we had a great time playing that, and there was a prize for the winner, and overall, our workshop again was, um, rated 9 out of 10, so thank you so much for all the bakers, thank you for your enthusiasm, thank you for your hard work, and your dedication, and even the lady who said she can't bake for toffee um, said uh, her, her cakes came out brilliantly. So it just goes to prove that vegan baking doesn't need to be difficult. It can be really, really tasty. 
and we were really pleased to help some people learn um, some good home baking skills. The atmosphere was great because everybody got involved in the discussion. We asked them to bring their own uh, mixing bowl from home, so there was like the home baking feel to the workshop, even though we were in a cafe, in a cafe workspace. Um, and also, um, I came home feeling really inspired. So with the leftover ingredients that we had, uh, I actually copied one of the cakes and I made cherry and almond cake. And I've just got a couple of pieces here to show you. This is a vegan cherry and almond cake that we made. I actually added walnuts to this one because I had some leftover walnuts too. But it tastes extra delicious and it's one of my favourites now. Um, so I've obviously discovered some new recipes as well in doing these workshops. And I hope that we can continue to do um, workshops like this to help people discover the love and how simple home baking can be. Um, so uh, the question is, when's our next workshop? We have one more booked in for this year. We'll probably take a break over the summer, but um, June the 16th is a date for your diary. We're going to be doing guilt-free baking. So that's low sugar and low fat cakes. Um, they're the same price as the vegan workshop. It's £40 for three hours, which is a bargain in terms of a workshop. Um, tickets are available on wriggle.com. Um, but if you need any more information, just send me a comment, send me a tweet, send me a Facebook message. Um, and all the information is on the website. Uh, so do take a look. It's www.280bakes.co.uk. Thanks for listening. And I hope I've kind of inspired you to maybe try some vegan baking yourself. Or even just to try, maybe maybe have a vegan or a meat-free dinner sometime this week. Okay, bye for now. Take care.